there are 15 or 16 books in this pile sitting next to me and I, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, books are fun. With Malice by Eileen Cook. This is a young adult psychological thriller that somewhat takes place in Italy and I read and reviewed this book. I will leave a link in the description if you're interested in watching that. The Sea Wolf by Jack London. This is a classic that I have wanted to read for a really long time. This book is about a man who gets sideswept off a boat in San Francisco, I think, and is saved by a crew. And the crew that picks him up, I think, is not so very nice. They're not nice. So a lot of stuff probably happens. What stuff? I don't know. I'll read it and find out. This book also has a lot of illustrations and we all know how I feel about illustrations. I'm five years old. I get really excited. And then I have Sphere by Michael Crichton. I just reread Jurassic Park. I just, I want to read more Michael Crichton. So I picked up Sphere. I don't know much about this book except that I think a spaceship is discovered at the bottom of the sea floor and so a group of scientists go out to try to see what it is and what's going on i don't know after getting that book i was talking with my mom and she's the biggest michael Crichton fan and i told her that i wanted to read congo so i was gonna go and buy the book and then she yelled and said stop don't buy it i have the book and i will give it to you so she gave me congo i get to read this and then i'll watch the movie i've never seen the movie but uh, uh it should be entertaining i'm hoping next i have black beauty by anna sewell I, I think i saw gavin from within the good books review this book and i'm surprised that that made me want to read this but it did i've never really been that interested in horses so uh, I don't know what to expect, but if I like this, maybe I'll read more about horses. I, I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. I've never read this, but I do know the story and it's quite often referenced in movies and TV shows and I just feel as if I should just give it a go, read it, and see what I think of it. I don't know what to expect. The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. I read The Picture of Dorian Gray at the beginning of this year, really liked it, and wanted to read more by Oscar Wilde. And this is a play, which I didn't know before buying this book, but that's fine because I grew up a theater child. I have been in my fair share of plays and loved acting as a kid. After buying this, I realized Erica, you have not read a lot of plays in your life and that's kind of sad. What's wrong with you? So I went and got The Death of a Salesman by Arthur Miller. I know the story. I've seen this play, uh, but I've never read the play. Uh, that happens with me with plays. It's like I see them. I don't read them, uh, which I should read. Dune by Frank Herbert. This is apparently science fiction supreme masterpiece, the sci-fi novel that everyone should read that I have not read. I am extremely intimidated by this book, but I will read it nonetheless and hopefully I will like it. Next I have Lolita by Vladimir Novikov. I've always wanted to read this, but then I haven't at the same time because of the subject matter of this book, but strip cover lit, Adrian and Dalton are going to be reading and reviewing this very soon, I think, so I have to read it. Next, I have A Sea in Flames, The Deepwater Horizon, Oil Blowout by Carl Safina. This is a nonfiction account about the 2010 uh, Gulf of New Mexico blowout, the oil spill. I wanted to read this book because I saw the trailer for Deepwater Horizon, which looks like mindless Hollywood blockbuster, whatever, whatever. I realized that I know very little about this event. I think I know more about the repercussions of this than the actual event itself and how it happened and yada yada yada. Next, I have Galapagos by Kurt Vonnegut. I just read Welcome to the Monkey House, which was his short story collection, and I really liked that a lot, and so I needed another book by him. So I picked this one up because when I read the synopsis, I thought it sounded interesting. I have then the forgotten what that synopsis was so but it doesn't matter I'm gonna read this and I'll probably like it the complete poems of Samuel Taylor Coleridge I just read the rhyme of the ancient mariner by him so I figured 
well, let's just go all out and read all of his stuff. Next, I have Close to Shore, The Terrifying Shark Attacks of 1916, which is a nonfiction book about the shark attacks of 1916 that happened at the New Jersey shore. A lot of people say and think that Jaws was inspired by these events, but it was not was not. That's a lie. Don't think that. I've wanted to read this for a while and I like sharks, so... A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. I bought this book solely because Dalton from Strip Cover Lit talks about this book a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. So I decided I wanted to read it. Um, it better be awesome, Dalton. Expectations are high. Next, I have Endurance, Shackleton's Incredible Voyage to the Antarctic by Alfred Lansing. I believe... In December 1914, Shackleton and his crew set sail from, I think, Georgia to the South Pole, and just outside the Arctic Circle, they get stuck in the ice. And this is a nonfiction account of uh, their story, I think. I think. I'm really excited to read this, and I'm also really excited because there are pictures in the book! Lots and lots of pictures. And the last book I have is the best book in this entire haul, and that is Meg Night Stalkers by Steve Alton. This is the fifth book in the Meg series, and I was sent this book from Steve, from Steve Donahue. He sent me this book a couple days before the book released, and I cried tears of joy. I don't know what words to use to say how thankful I am, but you, uh, they, uh, uh, I've read this book already, by the way, and, uh, oh, oh. I thought this was going to be the last book in the series, but then I reached the last page to which the book said that there was going to be another one, and I flipped out and cried all over again, so. There we go. And those are all the books for this book haul today. If you guys have read any of these, leave your thoughts and opinions down below. We could chit chat, yada yada yada. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!